is warm my hands while I'm waiting for the kettle to boil. There is heating here, but I only turn it on for half an hour a day. Sometimes I don't turn it on at all because it will build up a big bill. Heating or eating is a real thing. Why isn't Boris doing something about it? Oh, hi. Come in, come in. Um, it's a bit chilly, sorry. OK, I'm just going to come in and make a cup of tea anyway. That'll warm me up, won't it? So what I do quite often is warm my hands while I'm waiting for the kettle to boil because hopefully it doesn't use too much. And if I keep the oven on, it warms the kitchen up sometimes. So one of the bonuses of cooking. You can't stop thinking about it being cold until after April. Oh, there we go. Okay, my name's Diane and um, I'm 71 years old. Okay. Can I just readjust your mic mm. very, very quickly? Yeah, yeah. I don't use my heating. There is heating here, but I only turn it on for half an hour a day, if that. Sometimes I don't turn it on at all, if I possibly can, because I don't want to get into debt. So to keep my bill very low, I turn it on for half an hour sometimes. Wait for it to get to 30. And there you go. So yeah, that'll go for 30 minutes and then I'll turn it off. When it goes off, it's noisy. And when it goes off, I will uh, turn the heating off. I'll only have it on. You know, I can't have it on for more than that because it will build up a big bill. I also, I've got this little radiator next to me. I turn that on sometimes, yeah, yeah and hold it or, you know, put it between my legs and hug it. Uh, my direct debit is £40 a month, but so as the months went by, when it got to December, I was up to 60, meaning I'm 60 compared to 35. That's nearly twice as much already. I'm still using the same low amount, but I'm already paying twice as much. And now the bills are going to go up by 50% again. So, you know, how am I going to pay that? I don't know is the answer. Yeah, so I'm worried about it and it's difficult. My friends and family all worry about me getting a cold because I'm asthmatic. So if I did get a cold, then I'm in trouble. It goes on my chest and then it's really bad. And uh, pneumonia, so we, yeah, we're conscious of pneumonia. And uh, my hands as well, especially my hands. If I've been on the computer, they're terrible. I can't write. You know, I do handwriting. I normally would write by hand and I can't do it because my hands are too cold. Heating or eating is a real thing. So if my daughters were going home and passing here, and uh, but we'd have a chat outside and then they'd carry on, they wouldn't bring the kids in because it's too cold in your house, Mum. So, you know, the grandchildren, they couldn't come in the house because it was too cold for the grandchildren. The 50% going up on your energy bill, so a very short little news bulletin. As the economy reopens, prices are on the way up. The cost of living in the UK is rising. Wholesale electricity prices have risen by more than 300%. It, I just, I was, gosh, I mean, I'm almost speechless now as I talk about it. It is horrendous. And that, the fact it was going up 50%, was followed by Shell BP earning over a billion in the last three months. It is horrendous. And not only that, because, I mean, it means that the people who are actually charging the money, and well, the money is coming from Shell BP, you know, and, uh, and, and we're out here freezing to death. You know, I've got a cold nose and can't put my head on the pillow because it's too cold and can't afford to pay my bills uh, while they're making billions. Why isn't Boris doing something about it? In these dark times that we find ourselves in, it's all too easy to feel passive and disengaged and hopeless. But there is something you can do if you like the sound of a fearless, independent media outlet really trying to shine a light where the mainstream doesn't, then do sign up to Byline TV. You can hit the join button on YouTube or subscribe on Patreon. You can be part of driving meaningful change.